Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Levitt again, and I'm here to do an art project with you. Um, again, I've looked for things around my house, and today we are going to make rubbings, and I have a couple that I've already made. Um, I've made these rubbing plates. Um, you can also use lace and anything with texture around your house. Um, we're going to be taking this and making a rubbing. So I've done two already, and I'm gonna show you, this is actually kind of like a double art project because you will be creating the plate, the rubbing plate, and the actual rubbing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find a piece of cardboard from anything that I've already been using. I actually used my Lucky Charms box. And so I cut the front panel in half and I'm going to put that down on my paper, on my face, and I'm going to take the other scrap pieces and I'm going to cut shapes. You can cut all sorts of shapes. You can cut wavy lines. You can cut a sailboat. You can cut whatever you want. So I'm measuring this to make sure it fits. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to cut, like I said, my different shapes and I'm gonna um, glue these on. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, but I've already glued some on so that I can show you because they do need to stop and dry for a bit. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. I tell my students dot, dot, not a lot, but if you wanna do a little line of glue, you can do that. And I'm not putting too much because I don't want it to squeeze out. And then I'm gonna put some more glue on this side. And I'm going to put that down. And then I can make, I don't know, something else. I've also cut out some other shapes already. So with this, I made a spiral. And what I did was I cut my spiral. And then I went back in and cut another spiral. So I end up with two spirals. So I'm going to glue my spirals on. You can make layers some things can be thicker or thinner than um, another area of your paper or your, excuse me, your cardboard. I'm just putting these on wherever. It doesn't really matter. You can make lots of these and these are really fun. They're also fun to just hang up or just, um, you know, do them over and over again. I sometimes will do them over and over again with different colors and just see what I kind of come up with. So I, I think that's probably enough. This is my last piece I'm gonna glue on and I'll show you what I've made. All right, so I don't know if you can see what I've made, but that's what I just finished. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside because this needs to dry and I'm gonna get this out of my way. So I showed you these two and I'm going to now show you how to make a rubbing. And it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna take my plate and put it down and I've just used an old worksheet or a piece of copy paper, something that's not super thick um, because you want to be able to get that texture showing through. I've also just taken a regular crayon and I've peeled the paper off. If you can even use a broken crayon. I like love to use my broken crayons for this. And then I'm gonna take and use the side and I'm gonna just press as hard as I can and I'm taking these two fingers and I'm holding my paper down because I don't want it moving all over. And I'm just gonna press and try to cover up my whole page with that orange color. And it is gonna look really cool. This would be really neat to do if you had like a rainbow crayon that had multiple colors on it and you could turn the crayon. Um, but I'm gonna show you and kind of play around with it and see what else I can come up with. made this 
scrubbing. Now I'm gonna take the same thing and I'm going to put it on the other plate and see what I come up with. So I'm gonna go in and I'm going to rub this with the light green. And I'm also going to rub this maybe with the blue and just see what happens. You might like it, you might not. I see a lot of texture um, and I don't love it, but it's great for cutting up. So I could cut this out and I'm gonna fold it and I'm gonna make it into a shape like a heart. And there I go. So I've done my rubbings and my cutouts and my texture plates, all with scraps I've found around the house. I hope you have fun doing this, boys and girls. See you soon.